Joshua, Yehoshua, chapter 21. Then the leaders of the ancestral clans of the Levi'im, Levites, approached Eleazar, the Kohen, Yehoshua, the son of Nun, and the leaders of the ancestral clans of the tribes of the people of Israel. It was at Shiloh in the land of Canaan that they spoke to them. They said, Adonai ordered through Moshe that we be given cities to live in, with the surrounding open land for our livestock. So out of their inheritance, the people of Israel gave the Levi'im the following cities with the surrounding open land. The lot came out for the families of the Kati, the descendants of Aaron the Kohen, who were of the Levi'im, received by lot 13 cities from the tribes of Yehuda, Shimon, and Benjamin. The rest of the descendants of Kat received by lot 10 cities from the families of the tribes of Ephraim and Dan, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. The descendants of Gershon received by lot 13 cities from the families of the tribes of Yisachar, Ashar, Naphtali, and the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The descendants of Morai, according to their families, received 12 cities from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zubalun. The people of Israel gave by lot to the Levi'im these cities with the surrounding open land, as Adonai had ordered through Moshe. They gave from the tribe of the descendants of Yehuda and from the tribe of the descendants of Shimon, these cities here mentioned by name. They were for the descendants of Aaron, of the families of the Katai, who were among the descendants of Levi, because theirs was the first lot. They gave them Kiryat Arba, this Arba was the father of Anak, that is, Hebron, in the hills of Yehuda, with the surrounding open land. But the fields and villages of the city they gave to Caleb, the son of Yifne, as his possession. Thus to the descendants of Aaron the Kohen they gave, Hebron, with its surrounding open land, already a city of refuge for the killer. Livna, with its surrounding open land. Yatir, with its surrounding open land. Eshtma'a, with its surrounding open land. Halon, with its surrounding open land. Devir, with its surrounding open land. Ayin, with its surrounding open land. Utah, with its surrounding open land. And Biat Shemesh, with its surrounding open land. Nine cities out of those two tribes. Out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibbon with its surrounding open land, Geva with its surrounding open land, Anatot with its surrounding open land, and Alamon with its surrounding open land. Four cities. All the cities of the descendants of Aaron, the Kohanim priests, numbered 13 cities with their surrounding open land. The families of the descendants of Kahat, who were Levi'im, that is, the rest of the descendants of Kahat, received the cities of their lot. Out of the tribe of Ephraim they gave them, Shechem, with its surrounding open lands in the hills of Ephraim, the city of refuge for the killer. Gezer, with its surrounding open land. Kivzaim, with its surrounding open land. And Biet Haron, with its surrounding open land. Four cities. Out of the tribe of Dan, Elke, with its surrounding open land. Gibton, with its surrounding open land. Ayalon, with its surrounding open land. And Gat Ramon, with its surrounding open land. Four cities. Out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanakh with its surrounding open land, and Gat Ramon with its surrounding open land, two cities. All the cities of the families of the rest of the descendants of Kat, numbered ten with their surrounding open land. To the descendants of Gershon, of the families of the Levi'im, out of the half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan and Bashan with its surrounding open land, the city of refuge for the killer, and Bishet Terah with its surrounding open land, two cities. Out of the tribe of Yisachar, Kishion with its surrounding open land, Dovrat with its surrounding open land, Yarmut with its surrounding open land, and In Ganim with its surrounding open land, four cities. Out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its surrounding open land, Avdan with its surrounding open land, Helkat with its surrounding open land, and Rakov with its surrounding open land, four cities. Out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and the Galil with its surrounding open land, City of Refuge for the Killer, Hamot Dor with its surrounding open land, and Kartan with its surrounding open land, three cities. All the cities of the Gershuni, according to their families, were 13 cities with their surrounding open land. To the families of the descendants of Mari, the rest of the Levi'im, out of the tribe of Zubalun, Yokna'am with its surrounding open land, Karta with its surrounding open land, Dimna with its surrounding open land, and Aha'al with its surrounding open land, four cities. Out of the tribe of Reuben, Betzer with its surrounding open land, Yachtaza with its surrounding open land, Kedemot with its surrounding open land, and Mepha'at with its surrounding open land, four cities. 
Out of the tribe of Gad, Ramot and Galad with its surrounding open land, the city of refuge for the killer, Machnaim with its surrounding open land, Heshbon with its surrounding open land, and Yatzer with its surrounding open land, four cities in all. All these were the cities of the descendants of Mari, according to their families. The rest of the families of the Levaim, their lot totaled 12 cities. All the cities of the Levaim, 48 cities with their surrounding open land, are to be in among among the lands possessed by the people of Israel. These cities, each with its surrounding open land, thus is it to be with all these cities. So Adonai gave Israel all the land which he swore to give to their ancestors, and they took possession of it and lived in it. Then Adonai gave them rest all around, according to everything he had sworn to their ancestors. Not a man from all their enemies stood against them. Adonai handed all their enemies over to them. Not one good thing that Adonai had spoken of to the household of Israel failed to happen. It all took place.